Hi, welcome to iHeart Reviewing Stuff. So this is me without any <laughs> makeup on, which is this is how I normally look. I've been doing makeup just so I would have kind of more of a comfort level in doing these videos, but I think I'm going to make it through this one and do all right uh, with this. So I'm going to show our Secret Crush collection. We actually have all of Series 1, Series 2 for the mini dolls. Uh, we have the large dolls, uh, which I don't have those with me, so those won't be in this video. Um, they are probably uh, in a big toy bin where I keep like really large <laughs> stuff like our poopsie llamas and unicorns and stuff are in like that large LOL uh, toy bin that uh, was something she got that I think I thought it was going to be a more practical uh, thing for putting toys in but if something gets buried at the bottom I mean you kind of have to dump the whole thing to get them so it didn't and it's like a big basketball so it didn't really work out as cool as I thought it uh, would. But it works out for putting large uh, toys because I don't really have the space in uh, Marissa's room for those. Um, so anyway, so I'll start showing. I'll go ahead and start with the little minis that come with the large dolls. So I think this was the ice cream theme one. I already forget. I think that's the pigtails uh, one. Uh, so I don't know their <laughs> names. Um, but this one's really cute. Uh, and so their little hairdos come off and it opens up and that's where you put your beads. I know some people have had issues with, I guess, this compartment not closing very good. Um, I haven't ran into that luckily. Um, but hopefully that's something that can get improved over time. I know people want these to get a little more diversity, which I agree would be nice. Um, but something I do like about these that MGA doesn't do in terms of like LOL dolls or the Na 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 or the Rainbow High is these all get like little different cute expressions, which kind of adds to their personality. And it's really cute that they're all kind of like a sweet treat sort of theme. There's like cake, there's ice cream, and there's candy. Um, so I think that's really cute. So I'm hoping these ones get pets. I saw listings on Amazon. It just didn't have any pictures and it wasn't available yet to order. So, um, and then someone actually on Instagram got a checklist that actually showed a couple pets that weren't in series one. So I think it's this one and the other girl. So this is the one that I think is cake theme and comes with the one with the big pink ponytail. So she's really cute. Their outfits are like the LOLs. It's like that plastic uh, material. And then the only thing that also is kind of a bummer is if you get, so like these two, you can't swap their hairdos because this one is a one and this one has two holes. So that's the only thing uh, that we run into because sometimes we like to swap things and give uh, dolls different looks. Um, but if they can't, share hairdos you can pull their legs off so if you want the cute little socks they're they all have like really cute shoes and socks on these so you can like switch them out that way and then of course this one's got a very like different facial expression than the other one so it's really cute um so those are the two that like are the more expensive but i believe um you can always use like a Target toy coupon. They just had one right before Easter. If you want like spend 50, get $10 off or spend 100, get $25 off. Those kind of things help. Sometimes they even have 25% uh, off one toy um, for a large, like more expensive item like that, that can help. But also Amazon has, I think, been putting these under like the $20 mark, which is really good uh, for what you get. Um, and then my friend uh, Mini Toy Adventures Dom, he knew that you could take, or no, I think somebody else told him, Melissa maybe or somebody, uh, that you could t remove these, come with like a little stick uh, in them, but you can remove it. And so then you have like this little cute cake slice and it's got like sprinkle stars and dots on it. So those are really cute to keep. I was glad to find out that you could remove the sticks off of these. 
So I'm not sure why one comes with a cake slice and I want to say, I don't even know if it is the cake one or if it was the ice cream girl. Um, cause I feel like the cake one got this marshmallow. Um, I mean, it looks like a marshmallow to me, which would make me think it was going to be candy themed. Um, so that's the only odd thing with the large ones. And then, so the large, they did a ice cream and a cake. So I don't know if they're going to do a large one for, uh, candy or not. Um, I'm guessing no. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and I'll start with showing some cuties with their pets. So it's cool series one has all matching pets. I actually think they did a really good job with the pets. Um, more so than probably some LOL pets uh, for matches have gone. Like those don't always super match up to us. Marissa really doesn't like when the hair color of the pet doesn't match the doll. It kind of bothers her. <laughs> so I feel like these did really uh, good. Like the back of it kind of goes uh, pretty well with her dress. They both have like these little apples up in their hair. So really cute. Um, and then the pets actually stand better because they are more of this like little figure. Um, so hopefully maybe, I don't know, uh, much in the way of plans, uh, for Secret Crush. Like I haven't heard anything about a series three or a series two pets to match the series two dolls. I've only seen those listings for the large pets like a style one and a style two that come with mini pets. So I'm hoping those actually come even though I'm a little worried because like they haven't gone in stock. I haven't seen any pictures. There hasn't been anybody who's been able to get a hold of them. So uh, I don't know. She's got like a little cute heart nose. Um, sometimes they don't have mouths, I guess, because I think that's her nose, not her mouth, for the, where it's placed. Okay, so here is a girl and bunny that are a match. I think this is Berry Buttercream, so I do know some of their names. Um, oh, but that was one thing I was going to say that I know people would like, if they do like more series of these, they've got to figure out, because they've got these on their tippy toes, so like... I can't take like super clever pictures of these. Um, I know some people have figured out like they're pretty creative and use good lighting and better backgrounds and stuff than me. Cause I feel bad. Like a lot of times I'm just like putting them on my counter and like propping them against the wall so <laughs> that they'll stay and I can get a picture. But I know like you can kind of like their legs and arms do have like movement. So I know you can kind of play around with that to make them balance. And you've got to account for this one's got like the whole side pony going on that's going to add weight. So you've got to probably get more weight going that way to photograph her. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if they're going to do like a little foot stand or something. You would think there'd be a little something they could give us. Um, I would love for them to probably do away with uh, so much plastic that they're giving in these. These come in like a big pink heart that I don't really need all that plastic. And then the pets even come in these like smaller, I think, hearts. It's just a lot of plastic uh, that I don't need with um, the toy. So I would love to see less plastic in these. Um, but I know with the thing with cardboard is I don't know, there's a fine line, because I hate to see theft, too, that happens sometimes in the cardboard stuff. Um, so here's these two that are ice cream theme. Very cute puppy with the pigtails um, to go with her. And she's got a wink, which is really cute. So some of them will have, like, a one-piece outfit. And I think, okay, so I haven't shown one with a two-piece outfit yet. Um, but some of them do have two-piece outfits, but these are really cute as well that are a match. And let's see here. Oh, I'll show Marissa's favorite. The pony was definitely a must-have uh, for her. And we actually really like this Chloe Crumbles one, too. I think it's a cake theme because she's like a kind of a macaroon cookie. 
if that's how you say it. <laughs> um, but she's really cute. But yeah, try not to cover their feet too, because they did each one very uh, different. I just like the different personality and styles that these all have. Um, and you can definitely fit more beads than I am showing. They give you string uh, when you get these, so you can do a DIY bracelet if you want. But if you want it nice and full and you want all the beads in there, um, you can do it for most of them. Some of them you can't, like this bunny, I highly doubt. I don't know if I could fit all the beads in to those little ears. Uh, so there's some of them that you do run into those kind of things too. Okay, so here is, this is definitely a candy themed one. I think this is like Holly Jolly or something was her name and her fox. Again, I don't know the pet's <laughs> names, um, but really cute. I still haven't run into, okay, maybe series two has more two pieces. I haven't ran into a two piece uh, outfit yet. And then some do have glitter. She's got like glitter on the bottom of her dress. And she's actually got, it's probably not going to show very well on camera. She's got some hearts. Um, there's really like a really light lavender color that are on her socks. Okay. And then this is probably my favorite series one. I really like this hedgehog and I really like the rock candy uh, girl. I think she's really cool. I think a hedgehog was such a good choice to do to be a match uh, pet. Like they did a good job like with the animals they picked, I feel like. And so hers is actually the two piece for a series one. So she's got like a glittery purple skirt and then she's got a black uh, jacket on. It's actually got like little spikes. I don't know how easy that is to see that are on the top. So, and then she's kind of got almost like a crown sort of sticking out of her head. I just like her expression. She looks a little sassy. She's got her tongue sticking out. She <laughs> looks a little mischievous. So, all right. And then here is, I think this was the first one we ever got was the like banana split girl. And so she gets very fittingly a monkey who's got this like banana suit on, which is really cute. And this one's winking. And then she's kind of got her eyes, um, kind of like a happy expression, I would say. So really cute. Ice cream theme one. All right. And then a pet that I'm glad we got, but Marissa, I would say this is her least favorite pet. Or the gummy bear. I'm not sure, but I know it's either this one or the gummy bear. I really think this is cute. It's like a dinosaur and it goes to this cute gumball one, which she actually really likes gumballs. Um, so maybe it'll grow on her. I really think this one's cute. I like it a lot. Um, and I really like this one a lot. I think just she totally definitely makes me think gumball uh, with her design. All right, I think I've got two more pets left. So this is Callie Cupcake. She's got a raccoon. So it's funny, the only thing I have noticed with um, MGA and the pets is sometimes they do a pet that isn't exactly something we would probably have as our pet. Like this is a wild animal. <laughs> like they are cute, but if you see like any, um, like probably nature shows or something. These are pretty feisty animals. <laughs> um, so you could have, let me see. So dinosaurs, of course, you know, we don't have any more. I wouldn't recommend having a pet monkey. They seem like they need to be in the wild as well. Like dog works, sheep works, pony works. A hedgehog I know can be a pet. Um, a fox is a wild animal as well. That wouldn't really <laughs> work. Okay. And then here's the last pet. So a gummy bear. This was not one of my favorite pets. Um, I'm not really sure why. I just don't feel like it's as cute as all these others that they did. Um, like the monkey. 
I don't know. I think a lot of it is that I really just adore these little nice figures that they gave. And the gummy bear just isn't really <laughs> holding up next to it. Um, I think that's my problem uh, with the gummy bear being kind of a wah wah. <laughs> like, it opens up. I mean, you couldn't fit very many beads at all into this one. Like, and they don't really rattle. Like, that bear I put in there, um, which is a glow in the dark bead, which is probably one of the cool things this one got, was a glow in the dark. Uh, looking gummy bear but like it's so wedged in there it doesn't even move so yeah I just this one was not my favorite design I like the little cute hat that it's wearing it's like backwards on top of his head it has like the little twirly you know spinner thing that uh, hats can have um but yeah just it didn't strike me as like as fun as all the other pets that they did. Okay, so now I'm going to show series two. So this uh, is, oh goodness, what was her, I think her name is Coco Mint. Maybe she's an ice cream theme. Um, definitely she has some similarities. Um, I would say I think it's the same hairdo kind of mold, um, but she got a different expression and different outfit although the outfit is i think similar to this one so that's the only thing that will kind of worry me sometimes is to see like repeat items but you see it a lot in lol um but it's just always nice if they can come up with something different but i know cost wise it can be cheaper to just give stuff repaints as well so I factor that in too, but this one's really, really cute. I'm super happy with that. We definitely got her. Of course, this is like one of the few things we were actually a completist on. So here's Mia Marshmallow. She's got a two piece. She's kind of got a puffer uh, jacket on. And then I think she's technically wearing shorts. It seems like it's supposed to be styled like shorts, even though it does go on more like a skirt does. And then she's kind of got a belt going on across. Like It's probably supposed to be like a little marshmallow candy belt or something. But she's cool. She's got pigtails. One is green, one is pink. So she kind of um, even reminds me of like, you know, Bon Bon, LOL, who they liked to do like a few different hair colors on. She kind of gives me those vibes. Um, and then this one I think is featured on the wrapper and I don't know a lot of, I know a lot of kiddos are into getting the one on the wrapper. <laughs> um, so, and I think she actually is a dupe in a full box. So that's always good. I always hate when they make it like kind of a hard to find one, uh, if it's on the wrapper. Cause I mean, a lot of times kids just kind of gravitate to wanting that. But this one's really, really cute. She's got like a whole candy necklace going around her dress. And then she's got like such a fun hairdo. I love this little heart over here. I think her name is Candy Heart. She's got hearts on her shoes. Um, she's got the heart nose that, uh, let's see, this one had a heart nose. But see, the eyes are different. So I like that they didn't repeat uh that and then even this one i think hers are actually heart lips and then her eyes are shut like a different way so that's really cool all right so this is marissa's favorite in series two this one we just not i did not expect it to be so glittery i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to capture that super well on camera there's a lot of, i think it's like green glitter all over this hair and then I don't think it's green. It might be green on the pink as well. But she is just covered in glitter. Really cute. She is a churro one. I can't remember what her name is. So she was one that I couldn't fit all of the beads in. This happened with another one. Because the head has to go into that part. So it gives you less space. It's similar with this one. Fizzy Lizzie, I think is this one's name, where you run into kind of a little bit of a struggle to get all those beads uh, in there. 
Okay, I'll go ahead and show. This is my favorite one because, again, I just, I like the expression. She looks like, you know, she's sassy, like this one with her tongue out. So, I don't know. I just always gravitate to, even though I'm a big believer, you know, be kind and, you know, all of that. But I gravitate towards, like, I don't know, evil, mischievous looking toys. <laughs> Um, but she's really cute, really cool in the back, um, that we don't see because, you know, you showcase the beads. Um, and then she's, hers, I don't think, I couldn't fit everything in there either, um, with the popsicle beads. I think she comes with some pink and some orange. And then she's got cute little, like, boots on. But I like that her popsicle on her dress. So this one just was definitely my favorite in series two. All right, I got a few more. So here is the donut one. Uh, really cute. Super happy looking donut girl. You can see her tongue with her mouth open. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not. Um, and then sometimes I have, Marissa's noticed, she calls it a mistake, but I don't know if it is a mistake or not. That sometimes the eyelashes are not both where you would think they'd be. Let me see, I'll show like this one. They're both going the same direction. But I don't know if that's meant that she's looking that way and that's why they put the eyelashes there because I don't think it's a mistake because I think other people have gotten them to look the same uh, as that. But Marissa always like kind of like was like, uh-oh, is that a mess up? Here's the ring pop, which she is really cool. Um, it's funny how sometimes not until you get one uh, and see it in person. Like you'll see pictures or you'll see unboxings and you'll be like, oh, okay. Like I, um, you know, you might not know if you're going to super like one or not, but this one's just really well designed too. I mean, her bottom of her dress matches like the top and totally looks like a ring pop. Her hairdo is a little different the way it goes in. It's like this little slot. Um, but she's really cool. All right. This one, whoops, let me see. Oh, this is another one that I think, I just think she's probably looking that way and that's why the eyelashes are like here and here. Um, this one is definitely, a lot of my friends have told me that this is their favorite one. This was like a must have, but like, I think her name is like Bonnie Puff. You know, she's a cream puff. She's actually not my favorite. Um, I think she's very cute. Definitely if you're into pastel or like an angel vibe, um, I could see people liking her. She's got cute on the top. There's blue and yellow stars. Um, she is really cute, but she was definitely not um, my favorite. Okay, then here is the snow cone. So she's really cool. Like I love this translucent, definitely awesome idea like the blue, the red, and the yellow. I mean, it definitely looks like a snow cone on top of her uh, head. She's got her tongue out, which is really cute. Um, she's got a two-piece as well. And then there's actually, it's funny, now that I'm like going through these, I'm like, okay, there's more often than I realize there's like, you know, glitter added on, which I'm sure Russell likes. I, I like that it, it doesn't really come off on my hands, so I like that. Um, but I am kind of more of a glitter within the paint kind of type. <laughs> um, all right. And last one. This is the gummy bear girl. Um, I really, this was probably the only one I felt like um, that you could totally take this uh, gummy bear off. And then she's got these cute little pigtails on the bottom. So she really stood out to me. We got her early on as well. Because compared to the rest, they kind of have pixie cuts, I think. Like this one's got a headband. But again, if you remove the uh, hairdo with the beads. Um, like I don't think there's any others like this one. So I thought she was really cool. She stood out to me as just a little different. It's cute. She's got like a little tail uh, in the back. Um, she's a gummy bear, but 
I don't know, this outfit, I'm not sure what they're going for. Because it kind of looks like she has udders down at the bottom, like cow udders. And then the tail doesn't really make me think bear. So I don't know what that's about. Like maybe it's a hint that if they are doing series two, they are going to give her a cow. I mean, that'd be cute. Um, so I don't know. That'd be a cool possibility because the tail and the front do make me think more cow. Um, and they've already done the scummy bear and, you know, let's be honest, they don't need to redo that. Um, so yeah, she's really cute. She's winking. She's got little like mittens on. She might be the only one who had that too. I'm looking down here at the others. I don't see any mittens. So yeah, she's a little bit got some little more extras. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching. Um, I do plan to show uh, our Na 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 collection. I just, I went for this first since I did some fun and like photographed them today. And I was like, well, in case you don't have Instagram, I'll go ahead and show our secret crush collection uh, that I took pictures of today. And I wanted to see how long does it take me to get through this amount, just so I'll have an idea. Cause I might have to do like a part one and part two to get all of our Na 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 dolls. Cause we collect all the girls. We have two boys now. We have the basketball boy and we have the penguin boy. So we don't have the tiger boy, the um, dog or the bunny. And then we don't have the shark for the larger teens. Um, but yeah, but we have like all the girls from all the series. So it'll be a lot to go through. I have them. They actually all magically seem to fit in those big palms that they gave with the more expensive ones. Um, so that's been working out good, but they're pretty full. So if they make more series, we'll have to start figuring out where to put them. Uh, the extras. But yeah, so I might have to do that in two parts. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.